Hello and welcome to ESL Advice English Lesson. In today's video, we will learn how to describe a person in English. To get regular English lessons, exercises and quizzes, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified. Now, let's move to the lesson. To describe a person, you are expected to use specific words, especially adjectives, to talk about their appearance, personality, cultural belongings, behavior, ideology, mentality, profession, skills, possessions, etc. It would be best if you try to avoid discussing negative and controversial issues so that the person doesn't feel offended. Describing appearance of a person. While describing someone's appearance in English, you usually talk about their exterior features. To describe how they look, you should talk about their general appearance, specific physical features, dresses, and even fashion senses. So now, let's point out some features of a person that you can mention while describing someone's appearance. Examples The boy was handsome. He is old but stylish. The man was stocky. She is of average height. He was dark and handsome. He is a teenager. I like her chubby face. She is a blonde. The wrestler had a full beard. Describing personality of a person. Someone's personality is built on their core characteristics, qualities, or attributes. Therefore, to describe someone's personality, you should use some personality adjectives. Those adjectives can be positive or negative. I would always recommend avoiding negative adjectives as much as possible while describing someone's personality in English. Examples He is a man with a brave personality. She is kind and helpful. I like the way he is organized all the way. Here is a list of adjectives to describe someone's personality. Learn them all to describe someone's personality of someone in English. Describing cultural belongings of a person. The culture a person belongs to determines their characteristics in so many ways. For example, suppose someone is born and brought up in a religious family and a community at large. It's quite obvious that they will possess a spiritual mind. Their activities and lifestyle will be governed by spirituality. So, to talk about someone, you can obviously talk about their cultural belongings. There are different cultural aspects that you can talk about while describing a person in English. Examples Bengali is her mother tongue. She lived in a nuclear family. He loves to celebrate different festivals. He is a Muslim. She likes poetry. He loves pizza with extra cheese. He believed in democracy. Describing behavior and attitudes of a person. While describing someone in English, talking about their behavior is a must. How people act and respond to different situations gives us ideas about their behavior. Examples He is a reserved person. His patience is appreciable. Her sincerity amazed me. She is so irritating. He gets angry too early. Describing preferences of a person. Talking about someone's preferences can give the other person a good idea about their overall personality. What someone likes or dislikes tells us how the person is. While talking about preferences to describe a person in English, you can talk about anything they prefer, such as food, clothes, places to visit, movies to watch, etc. Examples Rachel is very fond of vegetables. My ESL teacher prefers coffee to tea. Sarah likes comedies of Shakespeare, not tragedies. Monty likes to spend time with friends. Describing your relationship with a person. While describing someone in English, you can certainly talk about the relationship between you and them. It's not about just describing one's appearance and personality, there is someone more. If you talk about your friends, you can mention how close you people are. Are you best friends? When you talk about other people, you can talk about the relationship between you and them. You may talk about how long you people have known each other. Examples John is a very good human being. He is my best friend too. 
My younger brother is a painter. He is very creative. It's been 10 years since I met David. He is very honest. Describing feelings and emotions of a person. Expressing your feeling is easy, but what about talking about others' feelings and emotions while describing someone in English? It's not that easy. So, you cannot be sure how someone feels at different times or what their emotional responses would be. You can only talk about the feelings and emotions of those people who you know well. They can be your friends, family members, or someone you have known for a long time. You can still only guess about someone else's feelings and emotions. Examples She comes happy if you gift her flowers. He gets angry if his students are not sincere. I found him upset, standing beside the shop. Describing personal life of a person. If you know someone personally, you can talk about their personal life while talking about them with someone else. It would be best if you did not share anything too private. For example, you can mention their marital status, children, family members, etc. Examples. He has decided to remain single forever. She is happily married with a kid. Razia is engaged to Roman. Describing professional affiliation of a person. Profession identity is one of the significant features of a person. Therefore, while describing someone in English, you may talk about their professional life when applicable. For example, suppose you have met someone for the first time on a train. You two talked and had a great time together during the whole journey. You came to know that he is a professional singer. Suppose you feel like sharing something about that person with someone else. In that case, besides his appearance and other traits, you may also talk about his profession. Examples. He is the finest doctor I have ever visited. She is one of the best ESL teachers at this institute. He is a chef at a five-star hotel. Describing education and skills of a person. When we talk about one's profession, we can certainly talk about their education and skills to give some more ideas about them. From one's academic background, we can easily understand what they were into for a long time. You two talked and had a great time together during the whole journey. Examples. He is an MA in English language teaching. She recently completed her graduation in marketing. His presentation skills are commendable. Describing possessions of a person. While describing a person in English, besides other things, you can talk about their possessions. Especially when someone has any rare collection of anything or extraordinary possession, you can talk about that. Examples. He has 20 motorbikes of different brands. He is a bike freak. He lives in his own flat that he bought last month. He also has a bungalow outside the city. She is the youngest billionaire in the world. There are five private jets in her possession. That's all about the ways of describing a person in English. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. If you still have any questions about today's topic, ask me in the comment box. You can also let me know on what topic you want me to make video lessons for you. For more lectures, visit www.esladvice.com.